peer pressure. I'm sure you probably thought when you became an adult, a man or a woman, that you would no longer have peer pressure. At least I thought that, that when I became a man, a man on my own, a man with my own family, doing my own thing, that I simply would not have any more peer pressure. But I've come to realize that there will always be people around me that would try to cause me to do things and say things and be things that really I shouldn't be and I have not even been created by God to be. That's why there's a Bible verse that encourages my heart. It says this, when sinners entice you, don't consent. So the next time you feel, feel like you must uh, agree to, consent to, co-sign to, uh, the opinion, the lifestyles, the, the verbiage, the mindset, if you would, of someone else, always remember, if sinners entice you, don't consent. Don't agree to it. Turn away from it. And just know that you have a friend in Christ who will stick closer to you than any brother. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And the peer pressure that he will give you will be the peer pressure to become more like him. And if you become more like Jesus, that's the best type of person that you could ever possibly be. So let's all remember when sinners try to entice us, let's never consent. Let's not co-sign to their behavior, their conduct, their lifestyle, their way of thinking, their way of doing, being, saying, living. But let us be men and women who choose to follow after the heart of Christ. This is Pastor Cedric again of Commitment Church with another Weekly Wire. Please visit our website at loveallnations.org. That is loveallnations.org. May God bless you.